Dear friend, I think there is a great possibility that you will get a lot of value from what I'm about to share with you. And to make sure that I'm clear and I get to the point, I'm going to read what I typed, the message that I typed for you. I'm sure that you've experienced many things, many thoughts, and many feelings during the past few years, during intense moments around the world. Asking yourself many times, and possibly still asking yourself, what is happening? What is next? How is it going to affect me? And what do I have to do to build resilience for myself, my family, my community, and implicitly our common future in the face of many uncertainties. So if you sought answers to those questions, you found many out there that have offered all kinds of answers. Maybe your friends, maybe your family, maybe your community, your government, and other public institutions, including major media outlets. Maybe people you never knew before with voices in social media. Some things were possibly triggering for you. Other things were calming. Some of the answers seemed out of your capacity to address. And on some of the answers you already took action on. Yet, how you are continuously and continue to respond to the last question on what will you have to do to build resilience for yourself, for your family, for your community, and our common future. This is the most important part, how you answer to that question. So here are a few classical answers you would find out there. You probably found one or all of them. The first answer is that your future is in good hands. We are back to normal and you can keep doing what you were doing before the great interruption with a few proposals for changes you should make in your life. Proposals that are coming from those that are handling everything. This is go with the flow. Plan and act as you would have had before the big interruption with just a few changes. Watch the trends and plug in to the grand plan. And in many cases, make sure you vote correctly. I'm inviting you to see how much of this are you doing right now. A second answer you're getting is that this is a cosmic change. It's a time to let go of expectations. It's a time to escape to a simpler way of life, somewhere in nature if possible. Enjoy the magical transformation that will unfold. Accept it as a time of enlightenment and divine intervention. And you're invited to think and feel that you will know what you have to do at the right time. Let life happen. This is a time to rest and connect with the unseen and Mother Earth. Maybe travel and live in a van. Take everything as it comes. Trust in the universe completely. Be one with all around. And I'm inviting you to see how much of this are you doing right now. Another answer that you have possibly encountered out there, the third one, is to take charge of your survival. The future is bleak. Escape the matrix. You can't trust many. Fill up on supplies for a tough time to come and make sure you have protection. Get your homestead going. 
and make sure you develop all the skills necessary to fulfill all of your material and some non-material needs. Become self-sufficient. Maybe find and create a village of like-minded people. People you can completely trust with values, ethics, and morals as close as possible to yours to ride any wave coming. And I'm inviting you to see how much of this are you doing right now. I'm inviting you to consider how much of any of these different paths have you taken or how much of each ones are you doing or are you one of them. These are the three main things you have been invited to as responses to the great interruption and as paths to taking your life moving forward. In fact, even if there are many iterations of these three main pathways, with some resonating with you more than others, and some actually making a lot of sense when it comes to building personal, family, community, and implicitly planetary resilience, these are the three where most of the effort is going into. These are your classical invitations. These are your three mainstream invitations. In fact, these are the invitations that have been extended to humanity for a very long time. These are the invitations that have been adopted by most and these are the paths that got us here in this moment with your life the way it is and everybody else's life the way it is everywhere around the world. And the future that you are forecasting and are preparing for. Your choices will do two things. First, it will bring your personal complete and irreversible failure or resilient success. And however you want to interpret what I just said, and consider that anything in between is either one or the other to lesser extents. And second, your choices, your actions, and everything that you do will bring failure or success to our common future. So I'd like to invite you to consider a fourth path. A path that includes the wisdom of our ancestors and the best choices they made to ensure they gave us what we need to move forward and succeed at creating a future that is regenerative, and enjoyable for all. A path that includes resilience practices for thriving, informed by an ever-evolving science in all aspects of our lives. A path that includes people standing for people, supporting each other's journeys towards wisdom, integrity, optimum life choices, and consent based participation. A path that borrows the best things from the three paths. A path that many believe we were called to all along. So I'm inviting you to join me to learn and participate in co-creating a network of villages of resilience and regenerative transformations all around the world. Join me to learn about and participate in the Permaculture Farm School Village Framework, Network, and Academy. And join me to learn how you can build resilience for yourself, your family, your community, and our, commun and our common future. Let's do it.